In this T's math example, we're going to look at an example involving a circle, and this will be one of two important examples that I think you need to know for the math portion of the T's regarding circles. This example does come from T's math live session number 17. I encourage you to check out that entire session by focusing on this problem here, assuming you have read it. With these types of problems, in geometry, I look at what is given and what we need. We are given the area of this circle, and that area is 64 pi square meters, and we need the circumference. The question says, what is the circumference of the table? And something else worth mentioning that throws students for a loop is right here. Leave your answer in terms of pi. We will not use 3.14 in this example. And now that we've established that, I've put my formulas into these two spots. Now remember, I have a video on this, cherry pies delicious, apple pies are too. That's just a quick way to help you remember the circumference and the area formulas for a circle. Now in order for us to answer this question, the circumference, since cherry pies delicious, to find circumference, we need the diameter. But since we're given the area, let's take that 64 pi and let's replace the A, the area, with 64 pi. So we have 64 pi equals pi r squared. I'm just bringing the formula on down. Now, since we have pi on both sides of the equation, you can cancel these out. And essentially what you're doing is you're dividing both sides by pi. And all that really does is it cancels out those pi's. It gets rid of them. And that leaves us with 64 is equal to r squared. And with this 64 equals r squared, this goes back to actually a video I did just recently on solving quadratic equations. Yes, we're doing some algebra here. We need to find this radius, which is going to help us with this diameter right here in a second. To solve for r, the radius, we need to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 64 is 8. If you saw my videos on quadratic equations, when we take the square root of r squared or a variable squared, we get that variable by itself. And all this really means is that 8 is our radius. And if we go back to what we need again, we need the circumference, and I mentioned earlier, in order to find the circumference, we need the diameter. Our radius is eight. You always double your radius to find your diameter. That means our diameter is 16. I'm substituting that in. So circumference equals pi times 16. And as mentioned earlier, we have to leave our answer in terms of pi. We're letting pi hang out the entire problem, right? But a common way that you will see this written, circumference equals 16 pi. There's nothing wrong with leaving pi times 16, but this is the more common way that you'll see it written. We're not using 3.14. We wanted to leave our answer in terms of pi. 